Buongiorno, buongiorno a tutti. As you can listen to me, I will ask you to excuse my French for this moment. You will have to support my accent. It's not a matter of profanity of your glorious assistance. It's really my mother language. Even if I am Maltese from Genoese Levantine family, my father born in Tunisia, and my family lived in the Levant for centuries. My limit has even been to consider English language like a French dialect, but I will make an effort. As you will see the first slide, I will talk about Italian language, but the first slide is a French language. If you come closer, you will see better my slides. Uh, these slides show the Grand Siege uh, of Constantinople in 1453. Why Italian words? Because Levantines is Italian realities. The realities of Italian is linked with the maritime cities. Uh, one of the most ancient maritime cities is, is the Amalfi maritime city. But Venice, Venice too, is uh, very ancient because there was there were territories of Byzantine world in Occident. I mean of Roman world remaining after the fall of Rome. So it's not a matter of Occidental cities. It's a matter of Oriental cities in Occident. Venice is Byzantine and Amalfi is, 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 uh, is Byzantine. And then there is some competition between the different cities. Uh, the first one is Pisa. If you see the different uh, territories, uh, they are linked with uh, essentially the east. But uh, some of these cities, like Genoa, uh, is linked not only with Levant, but with uh, the other part of Mediterranean. If you see the slide, there is a red line. At the right is the east, what we call Levant. At the uh, left is another part of the Mediterranean Sea. So we can see these both realities in this partition. Uh, the word Levant is used by, by Genoa. Uh, in uh, the Ligure territory, there is Levante e Ponente. The same for Spanish territories, because uh, this territory was uh, Oriental, was Arabic, Mozarabic, and the people who made the, uh, the Reconquista were precisely the Genoese. So the, the same words of Genoese people, we find it in Spain. We have so in the east Levantini and in the west Tramontani. Tramontano uh, is the Ponente, Mare del Ponente, Mare del Levante. The word Maghreb in Arabic is the same word of Tramonto, Ponente, where the sun rise is Levante, and the contrary is Tramonto, Ponente. If you see well this side at east, the main territory is, will be the territory of Byzantine Empire, and the first settlement of Ottoman Empire. There is some necessities in the Poland. 
from the Mozarabic influence. The necessity is that Ponat is become uh, Islamic. When I am talking about Poland, I am talking about Sardinia, Corsica, Sicily, all the sous of Italy and the territories of the Spain. So there is a necessity request by the Pope from Rome to make a new conquest from this uh, oriental part of the Occident the Islamic parts of the Occident. So Sardinia is Arabic, like uh, the date you can see, I don't repeat what you can read. Huh? Uh, the same for Corsica, until the, uh, the, the year 1000. The same for uh, all Spain, and in particular until 1244, for Taifa of Delnia, and the same of, uh, for Sicily. Uh, Sicily was an Emirat, Arab Emirat, very official, <coughs> like for Spain with Cordoba. So, this necessity was the same movement that our uh, it, uh, maritime cities had to go in the same way to conquer Occident, to make profit, but to to give uh, the faith, uh, Catholic faith, to give uh, the Christianity. It was a survival necessity. Uh, instead. Uh, of East, East is not a necessity. East is an opportunity, Levant. And this opportunity is with Byzance, I mean Rome, but Rome of the Orient. And then it will be with, with uh, of course, Ottoman Empire. But it's the same history, it's the same following of the history. In this opportunity, there is the Crusades. You know that uh, Byzantine Empire become the Latin Empire in the 12th and 4th for the fourth Crusades. And the Franks, the Venetians, share themselves. The profits of Byzantine, the profits of Byzantine Empire. But uh, in front of uh, Venice, there is Genoa, and the two cities, Genoa and Venice, decide to share themselves the opportunities of the Levant. And because Genoa decide to make alliance with uh, Byzantine kingdom who are remaining in Trebizond and other kingdom, they can reconquer the empire, Byzantine empire, empire in order to give a new life to this empire for two centuries between 1261 and 1453. This is for Genoa a good, excellent opportunity. Greek can find another way of their own dignity. And Genoese are very happy to make profits. So in the Genoese settlement, you can see three zones of influence to protect Byzantine Empire. The first one, of course, is Constantinople, the second in the center between Black Sea and Aegean Sea. You will see how many the Genoese influence is fundamental, you know that, 
He's got a capella where he sits. And as a result, control of all the black sea by generous neighbor fleets. And the main place is the Crimea. The third settlement, very important for generals, is around Chios. Chios, Lesbos, Samos, and all the islands close to the Asia Minor coasts. So the first statement I said it's Galata. Galata is a generous foundation, is the center of the trading of Constantinople. It's the center in uh, from 1261 from the Treaty of Nicaea when Roman Emperor has his second life, but is the center of the economy of all the city of Constantinople, though the center of the economy of the Levant. You see, you know, everybody know, this tower, Galata Tower, is a Genoese power tower. As the Genoese Podesta, into which uh, I, I talked yesterday with Mario from uh, Constantinople, from Istanbul, who should, uh, would like to have this center as the Levantine, of course, center. Second place is Chios. Chios has a long life with Genoese, the center of the main activity. This uh, foundation is made by uh, merchants with galleries, uh, and the first uh, sharing action society in the world was named is Maona. Maona of Chios, Maona of the clan Justiniani. And this community of Chios will remain even after the Turks' Ottoman conquest. There will be a levant in life with the new nobility of Chios from 1566. Uh, War is a mixed population between Latin and Greeks. So the first big Levantine population, very active, you will see the effects. Professor Ballard, Ballard uh, in my symposium of 12 and 14 talk about that. So, in this stability of uh, Genoese settlements, there is the presence of Order of Malta. It's very important because it's the first appearance of the nations, the Levant nations in the East. The Order of Malta uh, was before Malta, of course, in Jerusalem, Cyprus, Rhodes. So they are the close neighbors of Genoese possession. Uh, you see the blue territories of Rhodes close to the, to, the, to the yellow territories of Genoa. And we see, you see, you can see all uh, particular presence of the French language. There is not one French language, there is three French language. Francais, Auvergne and Provence. There is England uh, until the 16th century, and there are no more Catholics, so they cannot remain as Nazis. Uh, Germany is an uh, important uh, country. Italy, Italy uh, uh, didn't have a territory, united territory, but Italy was already an identity with the world, Italian. In Spain, there is two identities with Catalonia and uh, Castilla. It's very important this fact of French language importance. You will see, see after. But in this world of the medieval times, 
for the center of the Levant. The center of the Levant is going down, but it's a good opportunity because instead of Podesta, I mean powerful of Genoa's presence, now we have consuls who present the reality of the populations are uh, the, the, the community of Perl. Genoa, uh, French, France take the possession of Genoa in several times in the end of the Medal times. And in this way, they copy the project of Genoa. And you see in the red one how the king of France decided to make alliance with Ottoman Empire in order to escape to the empire of German Roman Empire. This capitulation uh, is very important for uh, trading. But the French people make the first international diplomacy and with passports. Yesterday we talked about passport and, uh, for example, some people said, but I don't understand, we have the passport French, Italian, uh, British, why? Because they are travel passport, not national passports. You see my ancestor? <laughs> <laughs> I am not my ancestor, but I am proud of you. <laughs> and my ancestor was a descendant of consul of Greece in Malta, and he was um, this one uh, made trading uh, in Tunisia with the Levant between Barbaria, so the French word uh, all ponent. Uh, for uh, France is Barbaria, north of Africa, and the Levant scales. Smyrna bond, because Smyrna was nothing. Smyrna bond because Chios falls. And when Chios became Ottoman, bond Smyrna. And you see the population in a few years between 16 and 1640 becoming growing in Smyrna in incredible way. Not only with the Latin Italian population of Chios, but with French and other nationality. We could take, we could talk about the different languages. One more preeminent language is the, the lingua franca. But in particular way, in Chios, there was the only Levantine language, Chiotico Levantine. So Greek written with Latin scripts. In front there is trading for Yerish with Latino, who is coming from Spain and other way. Yes, is another ancestor of mine with my same name and surname in this bag. There is other realities, other capitulations with uh, England and with Dutch, as you can see. But to become Levantine is not only a contract with capitulation, is to become mixing with the population of the Levant. And this mixity for the main Italian population of the Levant is growing down with the, the massacre of Chios, 1822. A lot of deaths. The second catastrophe is the Smyrna catastrophe, you know. And the end of this population, very prominent, very present, is the Second World, Mondial War. And when NATO takes 
as a private chapel, the Catholic Cathedral of Smyrna is the end of this population. Not the end because you are here and you want to give another life <laughs> to the Levantine world. But uh, there is so many things to do and I thank a lot of people who are moving in this way. The book I promised him four years ago <laughs> about uh, Michel Bala, professor who were present in the Smyrna Symposium and made this uh, perfect presentation of the uh, first uh, identity of Levant in uh, Chios. It's a general uh, book about Latins in Orient, we could say France, Latin, Levantine. Yes,